Hey all you goobers, it's time to say howdy to your favorite Dragon Empire clan, Narukami. Let's get this started. My starter is Spark Kid Dragoon. His skill is when wrote upon, draw a card. Honestly, this is one of the most iconic Narukami starters, at least to me, because it's like its original uh, form back in the OG series when it came out in BT06. Was its skill was uh, counter blast one, shove it into the soul. Uh, look at the top five cards of your deck for a grade three. So that was important when I wanted to use Vermilion for the cross ride. When I wanted a break ride. When I wanted to what else was there? Uh, Legion with brawlers for like those two months that um oh I almost sneezed uh, for the. Whew. Well, it really wants to come out, but it's hiding. <sighs> anyway, Legion for the two months that it was a thing, and stride until GBT12 when Hard Rod Draco could have came out. Uh, he had a really good run. I love him. As a child, as you would love a little brother. Not in that Chris Hansen type of way. You know what, let's just, let's just move on. Uh, grade threes, I run four, the Tonic Drill Dragon. Its skill is, once per turn, when it attacks a Vanguard, Counter Blast one, <laughs> Counter Blast, uh, Counter Blast one, choose a rear guard in your opponent's front row and bind it, then discard the same number of cards from your hand as your opponent has rear guards, so if they have three rear guards, you discard three cards from your hand. And at the end of the battle, stand this unit, and it get and it gets plus five k and minus one drive check. So, it's it's good. Uh, basically, Ziegenberg, but for standard, that means it's broken, right? Anyways, let's move on. Let's not, I'll go through some of the a bit later. I'll go through some of the combos if I can be bothered to. Honestly, all right. Sometimes I just get lazy around the end, because I'm always recording late at night, and I'm pretty fucking sleepy right now. Anyways, run four Teutonic Stinger Dragon. You guys, uh, okay. Four Teutonic Stinger Dragon. Skill is, when it's placed on Vanguard or Rearguard Circle, Counter Blast 1, choose one of your opponent's rearguards in their front row, bind it, then this unit gets plus 5k until the end of the turn. When ro And second skill is, when rode upon, call it to Rearguard Circle, and one of and your vanguard gets plus 10k until the end of the turn, so it's a break ride. If any of you G Babus remember about break rides, it was honestly my favorite um uh format. Not because of like the game state, but because I actually had a locals, I had friends that like weren't just part of the team that is now, which isn't to say anything bad about them. They're all perfect. But still, I had more of a community to hang around with. I know some of y'all might agree. Leave a hashtag rest in peace power anime in the chat. Uh, Alright, finally my two um, last grade threes. That was redundant. Uh, great Composure Dragon. Skill is, uh, during, at the beginning of the battle... Yeah, at the beginning of the battle phase... This unit gets plus 3k until the end of the turn, and if your opponent's front... And it... For... Ah! Plus 3k until the end of the turn for each empty rearguard circle in your opponent's front row. And if it's your turn, you get plus 5k. So this activates on both players' turns. Sorry if I butchered that skill. I'm not a... Uh, uh, reading is not one of my strong suits. So, okay, like, this can be replaced with pretty much anything. You can go with Dragonic Kaiser Vermilion if you have a Locals that, um, is really Excel heavy It can be placed, replaced by, uh, that other backup grade 3 that came into TD if you really want. That moves, like, column, like, a rear guard from the front row to back row moves columns. Uh, what else? Uh, you can even use Beat Hawk Dragon if you really want to for some strange reason, but I feel like this would just, just better. So, yeah. Like, personally, when I ran it, 
this past Sunday at my locals where I got second place, uh, not trying to brag or anything. I ran Vermilion instead because a friend of mine said, oh, a lot of people have been using Excel, have, Excel decks, and he was right. A lot of people were using Excel decks, me included. Enough about me, though. Oh my god, five minutes in, I've only covered the grade threes. Let's speed this process along. I run four Dragonic Deaths. I, uh, you can barely see the OR. I'm not, t I'm totally not, uh, flexing. Skill is when it's placed on rearguard, circle, soul, bless, two. Choose a rearguard in your opponent's front row, bind it. And then this unit gets plus 3k. Second skill is during the battle to attack the vanguard, if, if your opponent does not have a rearguard in the front row in the same column as this unit, this unit gets 5k. So what I, what I almost always do is just call it to my Excel circle. The uh, opponent will never have a, well, not never, will very rarely have a rear guard circle, a rear guard in that area. And if they do, I get to choose to get rid of it instead, so, fuck you. To that rear guard in particular. Anyways, um, which one do I go with? with uh, I'll go with this one. I run three Thunderstorm Dragoons. Skill is during your turn if your opponent's front row only has one rear guard against f 5k. I run this instead of um, Tempestuous Domineering Wyvern or Rampart Wyvern, whatever the fuck they call it in English. Uh, or instead of Dusty Plasmas, because Dusty Plasma is kind of bad. For one, like, I like the card personally, but I just don't really. I just won't have a chance to use it as much, I think. And secondly, because I just like to call this anywhere and it just beats face. Call it to an Excel circle, call it to a regular rear guard circle for pokes. Yeah, it just like, it's just pretty fucking good, honestly. Just that extra, that like 14k, 14K beat stick. Pretty nice. Finally, for grade twos, I run. Three recklessness dra oh hold on I yeah no it doesn't matter. Tempestuous domineering wyvern just moves shit up, seems kinda of redundant when I'm running Ricky. Also this deck is more aggro. I should have probably explained that, but again, terrible at speaking English. Skill is recklessness well no, it's name. <laughs> shit. I need to sleep. I should not be recording this at like two AM. Skill is, when placed, counterblast one, choose a opponent's rearguard in the front row and bind it. Pretty simple, right? Second skill is, when it on um, rearguard circle only, when it attacks a vanguard. If your opponent's front row has one or less rearguards, it gets plus 3k. I, uh, just use this in case I, for some reason, don't see the tonic stinger at all. Cause, so, like, if I can't get my break right off, I'll just use him on rearguard if... So, yeah, just, like, a bit more... Extra retiring power never hurt anybody. But with the other grade twos, I usually just win before I even get to see it. Alright, grade ones I run. Four. Demolition Dragon. Throw back to when this was an Eradicator. Got demoted in rank. Skill is, if there are no rearguards in your opponent's front row, it gets plus 3k. Second skill. When this unit's attack hits a vanguard, draw a card. So if you're going second, this is your ideal ride. Because that way, like, well, your opponent gets the gifts, gets a gift before you, you end up, uh, what's the word, getting the hand advantage. Yeah. That's basically it. Also, it makes, like, 13k rearguard circles, I think. I heard someone say that before, but I'm bad at math, so. Sucks, doesn't it? All right, next grade, uh, next grade one, four rising phoenix. Its skill actually matches the name this time. That's fucking incredible. Like I can't believe it. It's totally not unrelated anymore. I'm exaggerating. Skill is when it's in the drop zone. When your opponent's rear guard is bound during your turn, you can call this card a rear guard if you do it gains three k. Pretty fucking simple. Just call these to Excel Circles as well. Force my opponent to attack them. Then just bring them back next turn. It's 
really funny because Miles kept killing it and I just kept bringing it back. And uh, other great 82 ones I run is 3 Lightning of Hope Helena. The reason I run it at 3 is because... Uh, honestly, I don't know why I run it at 3. I don't want to see it opening hand, but I also don't want to not see it, I guess. So 3 is the second best option. 3 is the best option to do that. Uh, skill is... Right, yeah, okay. Sorry, thinking of other shit. Skill is when your opponent's rear guard is bound during your turn. If there are no face-up uh, cards in your damage zone. Uh, what is it? What is that? Soul Blast one? Counter Charge one. So yeah, um, my games always end before I use up all my Counter Blasts. Either I lose the following turn or they lose because I poked them six times in one turn. Finally, for my grade ones, I run two Lizard Soldier Ricky. Skill is when it's placed on Rearguard Circle, Soul Blast when it gains 3k, and then you can move all of the uh, rear guards from the front row to the back row and back row to the front row. I almost never use this skill because eh, it's not necessary. Especially because I'm running a more aggro deck where I want to like win. It doesn't Okay, how do I put this? I'm running a more aggro deck where it doesn't matter how much I discard with the tonics. I want to win on the turn I break red the tonics. And if I can't, well, it's on me. As uh, Thanos once said, something about sacrifice the strongest choices require the strongest wills. Uh, What the fuck else did he say? Summer, shut up, I'm trying to do a video. Okay? I'll eat you. Fuck, I'm trying to remember what else he said. Uh, it'll come to me when I'm done with the video. Summer? No. Go away. Fine, you prissy bitch. Alright. Let's move on. Uh, triggers for heal. Well, uh, an eradicator. Uh, heal trigger at that. Worm toxin eradicator. Sobo. Si Sabo? Sayobo? <laughs> All bow from no bow. <laughs> and humor. Ooh. Okay. Next, four. Uh, no, not four. Five draws. One uh, old dragon mage. Three. One old dragon mage, four wyvern guard gold. I'm also bad at math. Jesus Christ, hose. So yeah, just a PG. A PG. A PPG. And finally, I run... Not four. Not five. Not six. But seven fronts instead of... Seven fronts. Some of y'all might be thinking, Jose... You're running a restanding vanguard. Shouldn't you be running crits uh, along with it? That way you can like crit your opponent to death. To that I say, you may think that, but this deck is an Excel deck, which means your vanguard isn't really your win con. Your win con is all those rear guards that you're going to be attacking with. Those uh, four uh, 34k pokes, no, 24k, something like that. And then you drive check a single front trigger? Fuck, man, they're screwed. That's... F Let's see. It's your vanguard attack right there. That'll be swinging for 20, 22 on average if you don't boost. Then your second vanguard attack, which will be your swing for 27. Then if you get a single front trigger, your, excel, um, your two excel sides, they'll be swinging for 34k each. And if you and if you're boosting your um, regular ones, they'll also be swinging for over 34k, I, or over 30, something like that. I just really like running the front triggers. Like crits, uh, I'm kind of sad because they reprinted Malevolent Jin as a crit, and he's my favorite crit of them all. Fucking love Jafar, but yeah, it's like fronts are better. Hate this kid. But at least I got my thick waifu. 
I want to vomit after saying that. That's it for my deck profile, I guess. Uh, most notable combos are... There aren't really many combos in this deck. Especially because in standard, it's too it's way too linear. Just like calling Rising Phoenixes from the drop. It's pretty much it. Uh, I can I can show you my Excel markers. I run Ezel, the Tonic Drill, Ezel, the Tonic Drill, Ezel, Great Composure, my Narukami Clan Leader card, and Saiyan Delusion Hercule. Satan Sama. That's it for my deck profile. I don't have anything else to add. Uh, I'm tired. Thank you for watching. I know it's overdue. It's just like it's just that um. I originally ordered some cards. They didn't arrive. Uh, and then like apparently when one of them shipped, one of my one of my orders shipped. They were it was missing a PG because uh they. The vendor made a mistake with their inventory, so I ordered, so, like, the rest of the cards game came, but that PG didn't, so they refunded me, then I had to order the PG separate, that arrived, like, a week later. Anyways, I know I've said anyways, like, 15 times. I should end it now, before something else happens. That makes me sad. Alright, thank you. Bye.